guys, Johnny May here and welcome to this week's quick tip where I'm going to teach you how to express happiness when you're playing your keyboard. Now sometimes you're in a super happy mood, you want to be able to just sit down and improvise some super happy sounding piano. Well how do you do this? In today's lesson I'm going to teach you what I think is the happiest chord progression. I call it the Happy Monday chord progression. We're going to talk about this left hand accompaniment and then I'm going to teach you four right hand improvisation techniques so that you can create endless happy lines. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, if you want to improvise happy sounding piano, you want to pick a really fun left hand accompaniment pattern and a chord progression that's super fun. I think the coolest chord progression is the Happy Monday chord progression. Okay, it is a super cool progression and it's super simple to play. Okay, so real, real quick review of the chords and then we'll talk about the left hand accompaniment. Okay, first chord, it's like an F major chord. Then we play an F major over A, it's like an inverted chord. B flat major, and then a C major. Okay, it's got this kind of walk up progression. I think that's what makes it kind of happy is it's kind of lifting you up in the bass and then all of the chords are major chords, which, which of course are happier sounding chords. Now I want to teach you this left hand accompaniment. It is so fun. Okay, so what am I doing? Basically I'm taking these chords and I'm arpeggiating them. F, F, C, then I go a, A, F. So I'm using all notes from F major, then I go B flat major, B flat, B flat, F, and then I go C major, C, C, and then on this one I change it, I grab that C on the bottom with my two finger, and that sets me up to repeat the left hand bass, okay? So once more, root, root, C, A, A, F, B flat, B flat, F, C, 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 and then back down to F, okay? Now you want to build some speed on this. There is an alternate way to play this if you're more of a beginner student. It's a little bit easier, but it's F, F, F. Simple octaves, A, A, A. B flat, B flat, B flat, and then C, 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 okay? Now, if you guys are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Okay, so you have two left hand uh, options. Now, let's go ahead and practice these with the backing track. This lesson does come with a backing track, and here's how it goes. I'll play both. I'll do the, the more challenging one, and then I'll do the, the beginner one. Here we go. Here's the more beginner left hand. A lot of fun to play. I also want to mention that the lesson sheet music you're seeing up here on the top left of the screen is downloadable and printable, and you can also check out our smart sheet music at Piano with Johnny. It allows you to change the key with the click of one button, so you can practice this in all 12 keys, and you can download the backing track. I'll put a link to all of that below. But I do want to move you on. I want to talk about improvisation. How do you improvise over this chord progression? And I think one of the coolest sounds is the harmonized slide sound. Okay, a ton of fun. Okay, so here's what you need to know. Basically, if you want to get this sound, you need to first know the scale, okay? The scale we're using here is called the D minor blues scale. It's also called the F major blues scale, but the notes are D, F, G, A flat, A, and C, okay? Six notes. So make sure you can play these notes. If you want to do a study, if you want to practice this scale, we've got tons of lessons and courses over at Piano with Johnny where we talk about this scale. But once you have these notes, what you want to do is you can actually harmonize the notes of the scale with the C on the top, okay? So you can put the D on the bottom, you can put the F on the bottom, the G, the G sharp, and the A with the C on top, okay? And once you've kind of got this basic harmonized idea, then you can slide the A, you can do it like an up slide, I'm using the third finger, or you can do a down slide, down to G. Okay, and there's so many cool lines you can create with this. I actually wrote out this line for, for you here in the lesson sheet music, it goes...
Okay, basically I'm just sliding the A twice, sliding the G down, F, and then D and C, uh, C and F to the C and G, okay? And then I do the same phrase, D, F and C, G, and that's a little pickup note, okay? Uh, I do want to move you guys on. I want to talk about another really fun technique. This is the harmonized line technique. It's a little simpler, and basically with this idea, Okay. It's a little more freeing, but basically you can just harmonize the notes of this D minor blues scale, but you can just kind of pick any notes you want and go in any order that you want. Okay, So here's some ideas, I call this the harmonized line idea, but basically you want to create little lines. the variety that we can create with basically six notes it has a really fun sound and I think the key with improvisation is to leave little gaps in between your lines. That way you give the listener kind of a little break so they're not getting fatigued with too much sound. So that's the harmonized line idea. Now I want to teach you two more ideas. The ones that I just taught you are in what I call the lower position but if you want to do a deep dive of what we're talking about here today we have a really in-depth course on this called the Happy Monday course where we talk about all the things that you can do with this chord progression. We talk about alternate bass lines, we talk about the chords and which chords you can use, we talk about harmonizing the scale, and we talk about 13 essential riffs and licks that you can use in this style. So I'll put a link to the Happy Monday course below. But let's go ahead and move on. I want to talk about the upper position, and with the upper position you can do all the same stuff, but you do it up here, okay? So basically now I'm taking all my notes from my F major blues scale or my D minor blues scale and I'm bringing it up here. So I've got A flat, A, C, D, and F, okay? So how do you do the slides? Just like this, okay? Basically, I'm, I got the F on the top, I'm gonna grab that C sharp and the F, and I'm gonna slide up to the D like that with the same finger, and then you can come down like C and F, down to the A, C and F, like that. So you can play these short little phrases. I want to move on and talk about the harmonized line technique, and it's the same thing we did earlier. We're just going to do it in this upper position, all right? So with this idea, basically, I can just harmonize any notes from this scale. You can actually even put the A flat down there like that and create some really cool sounding lines. Okay, here's what's notated in the lesson sheet music here. <laughs> Okay, a super fun, super happy sound. Now, the final goal with all of this is to mix all of these things together. So I'm gonna show you how I would do this. We're basically gonna mix the lower position, we talked about slides and harmonized lines, and then the upper position, harmonized slides and harmonized lines. So here we go with the backing track and I'll kind of walk you through what I'm doing, okay? Let's start in the lower position. Some eighth note harmonized lines. Let's do some slides. Let's go upper position. Notice I transition from the upper position to the lower position. And now you can work your way down the piano through different positions. called a turn. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this week's quick tip, and if you enjoyed this lesson, I want to encourage you to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 700 step-by-step -step lessons in pop, jazz, blues, 
improvisation, technique, theory. It is the full learning platform for all playing levels. Also be sure to check out the Piano with Johnny membership. This gives you unlimited access to our entire course library, plus you get to be part of all of our live monthly events including our live Q&As, our live workshop lessons, we do student assessments where you can send me a video and I'll give you personalized feedback, we do weekly challenges for our students and we have a ton of fun. So go check out Piano with Johnny and I'll see you in the next one.